In today's video, we're delving into the fascinating history of Jack Daniels, one of the most iconic American whiskey brands. But did you know that the success of this brand owes much to an enslaved man named Nathan Nearest Green? Join us as we explore his crucial role in developing this famous whiskey. Jack Daniels is a name synonymous with American whiskey, but for over 150 years, the true artisan behind its success remained in the shadows. Nathan Nearest Green, an enslaved man, was the mentor who taught Jack Daniel the art of whiskey distillation. This revelation not only challenges the traditional narrative, but also highlights the significant contributions of enslaved people in America's whiskey-making history. Researchers have discovered that the role of enslaved people in early American whiskey making extended beyond manual labor, like gathering grain and building barrels. Distillation was laborious and tedious work, and some plantation owners, including George Washington and Andrew Jackson, used enslaved workers to run their distilleries. These skilled individuals, often with experience from Caribbean sugarcane plantations, played a crucial role in the production of spirits like rum and whiskey. Little is known about Green's early life, except that he was born in Maryland in 1820. By the mid-1800s, he had gained renown as a skillful whiskey distiller in Lincoln County, Tennessee. His enslavers, recognizing his talent, often rented him out to local farms and plantations. It was during this time that Green met a young Jasper Jack Daniel. Around 1850, Daniel, a seven-year-old orphan, found work on the property of Dan Call, a Lynchburg preacher and distiller. Daniel's interest in distilling led Call to introduce him to Green, whom he described as the best whiskey maker that I know of. Green taught Daniel the sugar maple charcoal filtering, known today as the Lincoln County process, a critical step in making Tennessee whiskey. This technique, believed to be inspired by West African charcoal filtering methods, gave Jack Daniel's whiskey its unique smoothness. After the Civil War and emancipation, Daniel purchased Call's distillery and opened a larger one, where Green's sons also began work. This marked the start of a long-standing association between the Green family and the Jack Daniels brand, spanning over seven generations. For years, Green's contributions were obscured due to spotty record-keeping. However, in 2016, as Jack Daniels' 150th anniversary approached, the company began acknowledging Green's role. Researcher Fawn Weaver played a pivotal role in this recognition. After extensive research, Weaver uncovered documents that verified Green's importance, revealing that he worked in partnership with Daniel post-emancipation and was likely America's first black master distiller. By 2017, Jack Daniel's parent company started honoring Green as the brand's first master distiller on its website, finally giving due credit to the partnership that defined Jack Daniel's legacy. This acknowledgement is a step towards rectifying historical oversights and celebrating the contributions of African Americans in the whiskey industry. Nathan Nearest Green's legacy, now brought to light, reminds us of the diverse and rich contributions that have shaped our cultural heritage. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the past. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories. Until next time, keep exploring the hidden tales that history has to offer.